Boom! Yeah, going shirtless today. Going. Are you really? We're not. I thought we I, we talked. We did not. We? You got it. Warn me. Is this in my head? That is. That's in your head. Why don't uh, you put on your 2015 finisher shirt? You shut your dirty you mouth. Go put one of those on. Where's yours? Let me put this back on. Right? Okay. Week 10. Is, our baby. Our baby. Is barely the size of a kumquat. Kumquat. And it specifically oh. says barely the size of. It didn't just say kumquat. It said barely. It wanted to really make sure that we're not getting over ambitious with our kumquat. Yes. Yeah. So it's a kumquat size. Yeah. No. No. It's barely, it's barely the, the size. size of a kumquat. Yep. Hey. So let's say it super dirty together. Kumquat. Okay, now you go. That was enough for both of us. Seduce me. So, I'm not going to seduce you with kumquat. Maybe I just did. You had me a kumquat. <laughs> my passing glance. Where's my big old beer? There it is. Oh, nice. God my big my. old beer. So, uh, we got this week's beer is brought to us from... Joseph Harris. Joseph Harris. God, that smooth limerick nailing son of a bee. Oh, that's... Oh, that Joseph yeah. Harris. Oh, yeah. The limerick writing Joseph Harris. There once was a man from Nantucket. Yes. I you are it. my world. Look so sweet. What kind of beer do you have? I really licked you that time. He actually licked me. You know me. what that tasted like? Like champion. I'll be drinking a double haul IPA India Pale Ale made by Kettle House. Yes, and I'm drinking the Cold Smoke Scotch Ale, also by Kettle House Brewing Company in Missoula, Montana. Go. Drink it time, drink it time. Missoula, Montana. Cheersies. Cheersies. Every day. Uh, through and through. I didn't get to see it till like Sunday because of the whole being in Arizona for Tough Mudder thing. One of the best Mudder weekends I've ever had in my entire life. If you could only talk about one thing, what yeah. was like highlight? Honestly, the race itself, race, was secondary to finally getting to meet like all the different Wesley people. Kerr. That's shark bait. Woo ha ha! That's right. Which, um, by the way, Cassie, uh, I'm man. I'm sorry you can't find proper fitting pants. Do you know Luigi? I'm not gonna say it. No, I'm not gonna say no. it. Cat. It's a me. It's, yes, <laughs> the most non-Luigi looking Luigi you'll ever see. Like if you sat us at the table and said, "Point out Luigi," I'd like, point at you. And then, like, yes, his chest is like this. It's the it's like the epitome of a barrel chest. It's this gigantic, nice. totally totally cool guy. Uh, Andrew Eckberg, of course, is there. It was his birthday. Um, Happy birthday, Andrew Eckberg. Do you know, you know Hater? Uh, I mean, I know Hater. the name. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Hater. I go, Hodor. Brett Tank was a really cool guy. Savannah, uh, PJ Catalano. Savannah and I are friends on Facebook yeah. now. Oh, nice. So PJ Catalano wears these uh, Italian flag shorts. He's a good looking dude. I'm not even kidding. Oh. Have you seen like him? Look him up. Wesley PJ. Ooh. You know what? If I didn't already have a pre established thing going with Wesley, so you're going with the commitment. I that's, what's, <laughs> that's what we need more of in this that's day right. and age. Andrew Glaze. Was there, uh, Andrew, by the way, accept my friend request, will you? On Facebook? Seriously, man. It's been there like for like a week. His coach was there, who's fucking awesome. Kyle yeah. Railton. Yeah. We are great. also friends on awesome Facebook dude. now. Quads of, oh my God. He has quads the size of my waist. If he didn't wear skin tight khakis that shows off those quadzillas, yeah. I would be disappointed. Yeah. And I only go to the training for those nutcrackers. Yeah. What is that? Balls. Chips balls. Just kapap, balls. Someone's calling Cassie. My people need me. That's right. That's right. Did you hear about the the, the the drunk lap? They packed a backpack with two bottles of fucking Fireball and a bunch of Coors Light. You mean that stuff that Pitbull raps about? Maybe. They're just drinking the Coors Light as they go throughout the course, and every mile mark, they do a shot of fucking Fireball. Yeah. <sighs> I couldn't hang. In mile five, I'd be like, I'd be crawling pretty much on a non-crawling obstacle. I'd just be... And there's a great video of Andrew where he tried to do cheersies with the bell on King of Swingers. The TMHQ guy noticed the last second and tried to get the volunteer to take it from him. He just fucking jumped off one no! arm. No! Yep. No! He was going, it didn't get very far, but it was still, the effort was just fucking phenomenal. So I can't wait to see some of those folks again in LA next weekend. You gonna be there? I'm gonna be in LA. I'm driving your ass there. You God damn right you are. Yeah, you yeah. knew. Why'd yeah. you ask? I want some gas money, by the way. I'm gonna have to pay you in other ways. No, no you're not. In other ways, Carlo. Steak? Did somebody say steak? <laughs> Chad Austin, your March Madness workout. I have not done it yet, but I will. Um, and I just want to applaud the effort that you put into yeah. making that. Yeah. Thumbs up from me. Yeah. Not from this guy, though, apparently. No. Come on. After fucking last... be the Ebert to my Siskel. After last night. Oh, we were both alive. Everybody's pregnant. <laughs> Some people say we look like the Winklevoss twins. I don't see it. 
I don't see it. Nailed it. Did you take out my 10-time headband? I'm pretty excited. That is awesome. You hey, know what? Actually, legitimate congratulations. I would be a lot more excited if the fact that everyone I was running with didn't all have the 24-hour headband. Oh, you mean that this one? one? Yes. I was so excited mm. to get it, and then I was kind of like, hey, everyone, I kind of got... I got a black headband, this too. Was, this was going to be really cool. And, uh, like, like Six months ago. Like, one of the top things of the year. And now you're just yeah. like, oh, god damn it. Well, I still think it's amazing. I, I'm getting mine next week. Yep. So you, I still don't have mine. You're getting yours. Kevin Chow's getting his. Excellent. I believe Hannah Copper's getting hers. Excellent. And if you're getting yours, go ahead in the comments. Go ahead and say, yeah, I'm getting mine, Let us too. know. Yeah, let us know. Lucas Parker Rivera. Love that oh, photo. That, that's a family great. Family Friday, man. The family, the family, that was so sweet. Man, that is, did you go up on the wattage? I didn't. I no. didn't change this at all. What okay. do you want from me? Uh, God damn it, man. Uh, Tough Mudder's expanding to Mexico this year. See that? Yeah. Remember. Eric D. Jenkins is jacked. My butt, is he? Oh, my God. Look him up. He, he could, d d Eric D. Jenkins, you're jacked. Uh. We, gotta get, we gotta get Coach on the show. I'm Kyle, curious. we don't really know each other. You've trained me once. I was like we, so many rows back. Fine. Yeah. You need to work on your form. I, no, yeah. no, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. Mm, I don't I'm know. Good. Well, you're in the way with your fucking, I got the Gigantor ass. You're Liza Minnelli in it. I'm looking for a little bit more Audrey Hepburn. You're trying to piss me off right now? <laughs> Monterey, Mexico, which actually my buddy Raul is from Monterey, Mexico. And if he was still alive, uh, I'd say we could stay with his parents. But he's, he died of cancer a couple years ago. That's true your, story. Your buddy Raul? Yeah, he's a coworker. You worded that all wrong. My buddy Raul actually is from Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. He's dead. Rest in peace, Raul Torres. Yeah, rest in peace. Uh, fuck cancer. I was talking with a guy at the gym and his wife was sick and I had just gone on vacation to Hawaii. <laughs> Come back and he's like, say, so how was your weekend? And I'm like, oh, it was good. It was actually a yeah. good week. I was, I was in, in Hawaii. Hawaii and and we were sunshine. doing all this. I'd never been before. It was fantastic. I'm like, so how was, how was your week? He goes, oh, my wife died. We should have opened with your thing. Like, and she'd been sick for a while, so it was like he was, he was halfway, like, kind of like at a point of... But it was just that, like, what'd you do? Hawaii. It was awesome. How about you? My wife died. Yes. You know, if anybody from TMHQ ever watches these videos, we know you don't. Let's be honest. Will you and return people's emails, please? So many people respond about how poorly you guys correspond with people who email to you. We're not going to make a difference on just, that. Yeah, we, oh, we, <laughs> God damn, now, with that defeatist attitude, we're not. Piss and Cox came and changed the whole landscape. <laughs> guess, that's a grassroots. <laughs> grassroots activism. You know what else this is? It's ball fondling. No. Oh, yes, it is. You are wrong. Yes, it is. It is an upside down jellyfish swimming to the surface, trying to reach the sunlight like the go-getter it is. So, uh, hey, uh, we a lot, yeah. real quick. Oh. Mm, go ahead. I'll wait. Okay, no, you go. Okay. So, <laughs> you know, Aaron, <laughs> Aaron Evans, Aaron Evans, the free hugs girl. Yeah. Last year, free hugs. This year, charging. Competitor. Oh. Yeah. So when you pass Aaron Evans on the course, I'm going to give so many goddamn hugs. Give her a hug. Ah, Aaron, you're the best. Seriously, fucking tackle that shit. Just go down. Okay, this is Aaron, congratulations on signing up. I give great hugs, dude. No, I fucking, I swear to God. Kill that shit. Kill it. Good. Tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it. There you go. Oh, God. Did we just do that? I think so. We just, we just bumped balls. Got a little list. I'm sorry if I missed anybody. Chris Aranda is also oh. officially signed up. Chris Aranda uh, signed up. Massimo Brunelli. That name just says, I make love like a champion. That name also says oh. that that is Mark Brunel and Tony Baselli's love child. <laughs> Mike Schofield. Jared Hanlon's got his official sign up. Justin Dieter, Charles Hoppert, yep. Nathan Brock. Is he the guy from Team Australia? No. No. Team Australia was Luke Atkins. Which, oh, yeah. By the way, right. A man looking good in those videos, those Team Australia. Yeah. The host of that show, though, that, that, that Australian show, not as good. If you're watching this Australia TV show, fire that kid, hire the two blokes yeah. from America. Ooh, blokes. Thanks. Or mates. Or mates. We mate all the time. Yeah. Speaking of broadcasting. Broadcasting. Edward Ryan, I yeah. need to know something. Yeah, go ahead. What happens yeah. at a national association of broadcasters convention? I think they all walk around with microphones and they're like, me, 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 me. Like Joe Buck would be like, I'm an a-hole. Uh, Matt Summerall was a great kicker. Oh, I love his voice. I have uh, a, a, an important uh, question. Yes. Uh, it was brought For up me? by... Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to answer. It, it was brought up by Chief... Oh, Chief Bra so Braben. Braben. What? Chief, Chief Braben. Chief Braben. Braben. Chief Braben. What about him? 
His name well, is Chief. He posed, yeah, his name's Chief. He posed the question: If you were to set up your own like freelance training course for uh, yeah. obstacle course oh, races, yeah. yeah, what would be like the most important elements or training mechanisms that you would make your yeah. course out of? Yeah, yeah. Honestly, the the one thing I struggle with, and it's new, but I still struggle with it, is your heterosexuality. The transition from monkey bars to trapeze to pipe. It fucking fucks my shit up every time. So I need to work that that alone. If I get past that, you're I'm, golden. I, I'm comfortable, you're golden with, pony I'm comfortable boy. with everything else out there. Although Everest 2.0, two feet taller, I made that shit. I was Did excited. You? I didn't. Nice. So they, they curved the top of it. Not bad but for a short fella. No shit, right? Better than the first year at Squaw where they literally Fuck oiled it down. That. There was not a chance. There, I mean, you had no. everyone doing the human ladder at Squaw. That, that was back when they used to grease the monkey bars. Yeah, too. Remember, honestly, rotate? yeah. My thing, probably, oh, it's very simple, but the walls. Like, I want to get good at running and doing, like, the kick jump off of a wall. I'm so stoked. I'm not even kidding. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I had no, it. We're going to get it. I've dreamt about it a couple times already. Yeah. I'm not even kidding. In between the dreams of me and pit bulls. Yeah. Yeah. Mostly pit bulls. Man, I think you mean mostly pit bull. No. Dolly. 305. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Party, 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 yeah, party. See? That's every one of his songs. <clears throat> Dr. Yeah. Pepper, Dr. Pepper. Glasses, bald head. Uh. His, his people had a contest where it's like, every town in America, vote for your place, and whoever gets the most votes will send Pitbull there to, to, to a concert. Can't tell me Alaska won. Well, the internet got a hold of it, like Reddit and... Oh, and, and they're like, send that yeah. bitch to Alaska. And they said, or send to Alaska. That's awesome. Yeah, so he performed in a Walmart in this Alaska. Is weird. That's who put it on. He performed in a Walmart yeah. in Alaska? Yes. I honestly didn't know what the orphan tent was for the longest time, and I thought it was like just a charity tent where they give money for a local orphanage. And then someone explained to me, like, and that once that's I heard right. what it was, that's a fucking great idea. Tracy Watson, goddamn, she was one of my highlights of World's Toughest Mutter. A short great. little stick of dynamite. Uh, we went in there um, just to find some warmth, me and Kara. We went in there and saw her bossing everyone around like a champion in the best way like possible. Them up, like get the fuck oh out of here. Oh my god, go everyone's dying. Right. And Tracy's running around like a mosquito on speed. Just, come on! Gotta keep moving! Let's keep moving! Gotta get hot water! And she's yelling at everyone and then people it. are coming in it. and she's like, come on, I'm gonna give you a shoulder rub! And you're like, really? oh, what's under your mask? Oh, if I'm gonna be rubbing your shoulders, it better be good looking underneath there. Like getting everyone to group hug and you had me a shoulder rub. Yeah, oh, God. She I was love, amazing. I love shoulder rub. Tracy Watson, you were like one of my top experiences, not just mine, but Kara's. I can and tell by your Tammy's. passion in the storytelling. Dude, tra and I guarantee you. In fact, I think this is a call out to everyone that had a great moment with Tracy in that orphan tent. Go ahead and just post something in the comments. Zoo, is she, oh, God. I she can't. killed it. Patrick Guzik yeah. brought up the point that we are 240 days out. Mm -hmm. From World's Toughest Mutter, Got 2015. It. He posed the question, what is something you could take five to ten minutes out of your oh, day? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. To uh, put you in the most optimal World's Toughest Mutter shape? Push-ups. Uh, Push-ups? Yeah, I do. I set my alarm. At, uh, I set my alarm on my phone at work for an hour. And every hour it goes off and I do 20 push-ups. Nice. And it's a 12-hour shift. So that's a shit ton of, well, not a shit ton of push-ups, but a lot of push-ups. So do I you do the push-ups where you start all the way on the ground and then go back up? Yes. Good. I do. Good elbows, I do elbows in. Good man. And I, 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 lay, like I lay a towel down because the floor in my office is not great. And uh, boom, 20 a shot. Kind of sounding like Christian Bale on American Psycho. No, 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 no. A little no, bit. No. Do you know that his uh, influence for that movie was when he saw Tom Cruise on Letterman? Scientology, I I didn't say anything <laughs> exactly. about you. Carlo, he might be a Fuck suppressive me. person. Okay. All my Scientologists out there know what I'm talking you know about, what I'm right? Scientology. Scientology. The Poor thing that I can do yeah. five to ten minutes a day yeah. that would better uh, my world's toughest mutter shape yeah. is uh, to step Good away shape. from the fridge. Halt. Have you heard that acronym? Some of my Overeaters Anonymous oh, yeah, know yeah, what yeah, that yeah. is. I know that. Hungry, angry, lonely, or tired. Uh, yeah. All of the above and then some. Uh, um, yeah, that's Why'd what I Why'd you do that do. last part? Why'd you do that? Uh, it makes you fall in love with me again. All over again. Feels like the first time. Feels like the first time. Feels like the very first time. See? That's the rug underneath you, and I went, bitch. Hey, Mike Thompson. Mike, yeah. No relation to Andy Thompson, who I went to high school with. Are you related to Michael Jordan?
You barely are using your phone. You do not need to charge your phone. Thank you are going to be way too busy. You might be busy running around the like five mile loop for like 80 miles. Right? Yeah. Carlo just dubbed Mike Thompson's run in 80 right. miles. Go, Mike. Woo! Trip Ryan Atkins when you see him. Ric Flair, woo! Yeah. Just kidding. Don't do that. He's probably a cool Yeah, kid. don't Nancy Kerrigan, Ryan Atkins. Rebecca Crump. Oh, I love Crump. Quest for the Crest. I love Crump. Her posts right. about her kids and stuff, I just like, oh, so yeah, sweet. oh yeah. What a great yeah, mom. She, Good job. Fantastic Crumpy. people. Hey, rooting for you for Quest for the Crest. Wait, you can't say Crump without saying what? Dump it to Crump it. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Justin Willett. So he, I, I think he was sponsored. I can never quite tell like what's going on with comments. If they're, if they're the troll or not. I'm pretty sure he got sponsored by Volkswagen. Um, but what? I also saw Power Bar on there and Emergency and a few other things. The fuck? What? In any case, Justin Willett. Dude, good Justin, stuff, man. Yeah, if you could tell Volkswagen to watch the Piss and Cock show. That'd be fucking cool. Right? Yeah. I want to get sponsored by Justin Willett. Okay. I'm going to put Willett's Cox on my back. Okay. Kind of looking like a six-year-old uh, with the flu. Chris Aranda, everyone. Oh, that was such a great post. High, high five. five. Very high, nice. High five. Everyone, do it. The Go photo's ahead. up. We'll yeah. give you a moment. Fucking make it happen. Go Let's ahead. connect. Go ahead. There it is. It's there. It's done. Oh, Jason Rulo posted. That's nice. Jason, Jason Rulo. He's also jacked. Yeah. Hi, Hi Melissa. She's so nice. Oh, fucking dude. These things will get you. <laughs> Maurizio, Maurizio Boro, Maurizio Boro. Yeah, welcome. Yeah, and yeah. just leave it at that. Piss Keith Allen off. Hey, welcome. Welcome. Hey, mm. how many times did you watch the Matt B. Davis Blender video? Uh, right, more times than you're proud to admit. Fuck that guy because he made me watch him shirtless for a minute making a fucking smoothie, waiting for the, like the other part of the video that didn't show up. Let me reword your statement. He granted you the opportunity to watch him shirtless no. blending fruit no. for his sustenance. You no. know, he kind of no. looked no. a little like the angle and stuff. It was a little bit like Ron Burgundy. He has a bit of a pelt going on. That's for sure. Oh my God, I've got <coughs> all the makings at home right now for a great fucking smoothie. I got fucking kale. You know how I know you're from California? So good. You're not adding that going, fuck, I love that kale flavor. You can't tell me you are. You're adding it because you're like, this is good for me. Right. Right. That's true. But you're not like, fuck, give me that kale. But it does taste good. You know what tastes good? The other things that are with it. You know what makes lettuce fucking taste delicious? Put it on a hamburger. Hamburgers. We can't be the only ones that saw Auburn Otis. Ultimate oh. Taser Ball! Ultimate Taser Ball. What the, yeah! fuck? the yeah! fuck is that? It just surpassed rugby for like, holy fuck, balls of steel to do that thing. All the dudes run around with tasers and yeah. a big giant soccer ball hitting yeah. each other so, and tasing Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So excited I had to belch it out. Question, you haven't been ta- With an actual taser? I'm just, I don't know, I'm probably, I not, can't be the only one that's surprised. You've probably been maced more, huh? Travis Jansen, can I have your shoes? I'm gonna oh my god! Picture of it, right here. Yeah. Um, have you seen the new Hoka Trail shoes that came out this week? No. Oh, fuck. Now Keith, Keith is the shoe. He's guru. the shoe guru. Holy and fuck. he just updated the document. So yeah. uh, click on the documents. I check out the business it. out. It's it Liza. Great article. She posted the article about uh, like the. The plotter runner type thing. Yeah, like to, to not give which, shit to the average runner. Seriously, which, all, everybody starts somewhere. Did you ever hear the Nettie story? The run, Nettie run hashtag that was really taken off. I forget what race it was. It's one of the centerpieces of the article. Mm -hmm. She was asked to leave after a mile and a half of a 20 mile course, very rudely, after they dubbed her too slow. They just basically profiled and said, no, you don't represent the Abercrombie -er. And uh, I just, did. I like Liza's stance, because for those of you that don't know, I have a history with weight loss and bullying. I lost 90 pounds, all that fun stuff. And, uh, I lost 35 pounds. Yeah, yeah you did. What's up, former fan? Yeah, dude, seriously. This That's guy, awesome. he, yeah. uh, when he joined one of my boot camps for yeah. the first time years and years and years ago, yeah. Oh man, dude, the I was, lunges you I was were a doing. Wreck. I was a wreck. Yeah. Way, and then 10 totally tough letters later. Yeah, right? Good What's job, up? man. Good job. You too, Ed, man. You're a champion. Thank so, Liza, thank, thank you for that. Yeah, that was a great post. I really yeah. liked it. You're fantastic. Probably one of my favorite of the week, yeah. actually. Thank you. Jeff Mudbeast Murphy.
Today is the anniversary yeah. of the thousand comment thread. Yeah. Some poor dude just basically making a, a statement that was legit to him and the group just went. He meant well. I couldn't find it. I had the whole like dream of like <laughs> reenacting and citing people's comments mm -hmm. at random. Uh, so look, if you could send that to me, Jeff, uh, I will make sure that happens next week. Carlo and I will get full Shakespearean on deck. That ass. You know it's serious when you spell that D-A-T and say it as such. Yeah. Dat. Hooked on Pahonics. Worked for me. Yes. D-A-T is also the company that uh, we purchased mag magnesium fluoride from for my work. Nerd! It's true. It's true. Boring. Chlorophyll? More like borophyll. What? No, I will not make out with you. Not today. Come on. Know you're Billy Madison. And I don't have pants on right now. It's not very, not very impressive. Carlo hates clowns? Why is that on the list? Because Maddie wants to show a clown movie for the Thursday dinner at World's Toughest, and that gets my full support. Wait, what kind of clown? I a terrifying clown. I don't like, like puts Stephen King's it to fucking shame. Toughest I'll go. Some scary I'll go. ass clown. And I will turn. I will face away from the screen. Poltergeist <laughs> fucked my shit up as a kid. Clown mm -hmm. fucking. Yeah. Uh. Then fucking Stephen King with his like, look at Pennywise the clown. And I'm like, oh, you fucked me up even more, you jackass. Yeah, I don't, yeah. not a fan of clowns. Matthew Reitenauer. Yeah. Oh, great. Good job with the name. Thank you. Yeah, no, I'm just going for it. He's, Fuck it. I'm probably, just. He's probably wrong. Yeah. Uh, I want pizza. I'm up for that challenge. Um, no, I can't do it. Dude, I ate pizza on the world's toughest mutter course every lap. Well, that's, okay, I might do that. I'm saying during training right now for Worlds, I'm, I'm trying to stay away from pizza. Oh. Tuesday night at work was fucking pizza night, celebration pizza night, like eight round table pizzas. I had none. Yeah. And I passed up free fucking wine from the uh, owner of the running store last night. Other than so, so then what did you have for breakfast? Other than <laughs> other than finish your beers, I'm trying to let go sans alcohol. We'll see what happens. Well, sans alcohol except for the drinks that we're drinking <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm trying not to drink. <laughs> except for the fuck that. <laughs> trying to stay healthy and shit. <laughs> I had someone message me and they're like, man, you guys really like beer, huh? And I'm like, eh, show kind of depicts a uh, not normal version yeah. of how much we drink. If it's so, if it's loaded full of hops, I'm not a fan. It doesn't make me less of a man. It's the 90s you wear it. I man. don't have a beard. I keep telling a you. beard or flannel. I don't fit in with the lumberjack chic look right these days that are really popular. You watch those fucking guys. They drink it and they're like, oop. Mm. Like, yeah, oh, that's, that's, good that's so good. I'm like, you're fucking lying. Congratulations to everyone that did the Georgia death race. Yeah, fucking um, A. Next week. Yes. Oh, it's good that you're looking at me like this for this part. Okay. The tug toner. Michael Clare, he brought up a good training mechanism. Next week, for the boot camp that, that's going to happen Friday before we leave, mm -hmm. we're going to implement the tug toner. Are we? Mm hmm. When you say we, what do you mean? Like you and I. No, we're, we're, we're gonna tandem tone. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're, we're gonna tandem tug tone. Why is that so prominent? Oh, you mean the OCR bus? OCR bus is written in like giant letters on our notes. OCR bus or bust! Right. We're are, getting ourselves some trading cards done. Are we? Yeah, man. What? Yeah, dude, we're hopping on the Why OCR bus. Why did you not bus. tell me that until today? You, you knew. You're just hamming it up for the camera. He is. He is. We're sponsored by the OCR bus. We're sp we are sponsored by OCR bus. Where's my check? <laughs> oh man, no, we don't get those. They just give us cards. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. But they give everybody. They give other people cards too. I think we might have to pay for. It. So our sponsor. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> we fucking we did this shit good. <laughs> oh, nailing it. Oh my god. Moving on up. Moving on up to the east side. Na -na -na -na. To the deluxe apartment in, in the, the sky. sky. I can't go to the next high part. Moving on. No, neither can you, evidently. I want to still congratulate Tim Leifer. Leifer. It's probably Leifer. It's Tim Leifer. Hey, congratulations on your first 50 miler, man. That's big oh, time. Oh, fuck, right? Yeah. Seriously. High five again. Yeah, right on. Chad Masick, I feel your pain everyone pain. else is registering for world's toughest mutter and i'm just like broke ass broke i'm like man yeah. preach it knuckle yeah. down that's yeah. what i'm talking about uh, so chad we're gonna ride that broke bus together mm. uh, broke bus which is different than than bang bus is that what you were gonna uh, say is no, that it it's not i don't know what that is Carlo didn't star in an episode once and vow never to tell anyone about it 
I want to congratulate uh, Matt Giesemann. I'm f- going with it. Where the fuck are you? I'm bouncing oh, all over the okay. place. I'm like a fucking bouncy ball in a bouncy palace fucking in, in helium land. In, 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 in helium land? In helium land. What would your voice sound like in helium land? Don't do it. He's doing 501 obstacles for Haitians. He, he's raising money for every run that he does for Haiti. I'm going to pull your beard and punch you in the face. Yeah, then spit on me after. <laughs> oh, God, no. Matt Giesemann. Awesome people, man. Awesome people. We gotta end. We gotta end on grand finale. Wesley Kerr creeping on you. Yeah. F- what's up with that? Yeah. Here's, right. Here's the photo. Here's poor. Perfect. I'm a doctor. I can do doctor things. He's one of the coolest guys I ever met in my life. Seriously, he's a really cool guy. What about me? You're okay. Thank you so much. Ten weeks in. This is so much cooler than we ever thought it would be. Barely the size of a kumquat. Barely the size of a kumquat. Thank you, Joseph Harris, for the wonderful beer. Except yes, for that, except for Carlo this is some leftover that shit. a couple no. of weeks ago. And again, those of you that bought us beer and you sent it in, just because you don't see it yet, we're going to showcase it. Don't worry. It's just we've got actually a lot to get to, which is kind of nice. I mean, Drake Stumbo, Rick Hutchinson. Yeah. Uh, Sharkbait sent us some. Uh, no, I'm Andrew, mentioning all the people we're going to see next week. Oh, fuck yeah, in L.A. Glen Allen Raceway. San Bernardino, gonna California. Going to have a great time. Yeah. We're going to be doing some on-site filming for Piss and Cox. Goddamn um, right. So it's going to be a blasty blast. Seriously, it's going to be uh, awesome. I look forward, like, so look forward to it. Oh, man, can't wait. Until next week. Cheersies. Cheersies. Bye, everybody. Bye.